Hello, book buddies. This is Miss Evelyn. This book is one of my favorites. You know why? Because number one, it's about cookies, and I love cookies, but most importantly, it's about sharing, and Miss Evelyn loves to share. So our Sesame Street book today is Cookies for Elmo, the little book about the power of sharing. Are you ready to share, Elmo? Let's get started. Two good friends are having fun one bright and happy day. Elmo shares with Cookie Monster and they play, play, play. Elmo's favorite rubber ball is huge and red and round. He tosses it to Cookie saying, keep it off the ground. They have lots of toys they're playing with today. Cookie Monster grabs the ball and bops it up and down. He uses hands and feet and head to bounce it all around. Can you tell this story is rhyming, book buddies? He throws the big ball up, 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 so high into the air. There it is, going high into the air. He's having such an awesome time. He's glad that Elmo shared. I'm glad, too. The two friends played with Elmo's toys till Cookie had to go. Elmo shared his favorite things and helped their friendship grow. Cookie thinks about the things that he could play with and share. So how can he show Elmo that he also really cares? He wants Elmo to know that he really cares about him being his friend. Cookies, yes! His favorite thing will make the perfect gift. Cookie will rush home to make two batches extra swift. That means extra fast. Mix, 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 then bake, bake, bake. The next thing that will happen is cooling on the rack. The cookies are so plump and round, the perfect monster snack. Mmm, they look like chocolate chip cookies. Oh, that's a good way to eat cookies, but don't get choked. Oh, no! He ate the cookies. Every morsel, every crumb. Those were Elmo's cookies. What has Cookie Monster done? He meant to share the cookies, but they looked so good and sweet. Cookie couldn't help it. He just had to eat, eat, eat. And now the plate is empty. He's going to have to make some more. Cookie makes another batch and then he steps away. This time around, he tells himself, no more for me today. He's looking at them, but he's not going to eat them. Oh, come on, Cookie Monster, you can do it. Once they're ready, Cookie stacks the goodies on a plate. He leaves for Elmo's right away. No time to hesitate. That's right, get there quickly before you eat them again. On the way to Elmo's house, there's Bert and Ernie, too. Cookie says hello and tells him what he's off to do. They both agree that Elmo's going to love the tasty treat. Sharing something special with a friend just can't be beat. And there's Bert and Ernie. Hi, Bert and Ernie. Uh Uh-oh. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. On and on he walks. Soon he's close to Elmo's house. It's just a few more blocks. Come on, you can do it. The cookies look so yummy, but he knows they're not for him. Me want cookies, Cookie says, but me must not give in. Don't give in, Cookie Monster. He takes a breath and tries to think of something new, like math. He knows that you get four if you Add two and two. What is he up to? So, if he shares four cookies, will he still get two to eat? Or once he shares the cookies, will they all be Elmo's treat? Poor Cookie Monster. He wants to share, but he wants some cookies too. Because he's a Cookie Monster. Maybe he should eat now. Just maybe one and give the other and just give away just three. Elmo won't miss one small cookie. Wouldn't you agree? I don't think he might miss one cookie. Or maybe he should eat two cookies, saving two to share. Half and half, straight down the middle. 
Doesn't that seem fair? Well, you really made them for Elmo. You should give them to Elmo. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. He couldn't control himself again. Oh, no. He ate them all again. Before he even reached the house. All that's left are cookie crumbs too small to feed a mouse. That's all that's left are those crumbs. There's nothing now that he can share. He's eaten all he had. Cookie starts to walk back home, alone, and feeling sad. Oh, Cookie Monster. Bert and Ernie at the park are reading in the shade. I love to see our friends reading. They stop to ask if Elmo liked the goodies Cookie made. He has to tell them that he ate the sweets himself instead. He's embarrassed. Look at him. Me no can control me self, he says, and hangs his head. Now he feels really bad. Bert and Ernie understand how tough it is to share. Even if you're trying hard to show someone you care. When it's a thing you really love, you want it just for you. But when you share with someone else, you're sharing friendship too. Well, perhaps instead of baking first and sharing when he's done, he could bake with Elmo. That would make the sharing fun. A great idea, Cookie Monster says and claps his hands. He runs home to call Elmo, so excited for their plans. That might work if they bake them together. Elmo's fun to work with. He and Cookie have a blast. They mix and bake together and then share the treats at last. Seeing Elmo smile and laugh makes Cookie happy too. Even if it's hard sometimes, it's fun to share with you. And there they are sharing. Cookie has a mo uh, cookie and Elmo has cookies. And guess what? He left you his monster chocolate chip cookie recipe. Make sure you follow it just like he wrote it. It's going to taste so good when you share it with your friends. And then he tells you how to bake it. I'm going to show you just what he said you should do. But always get an adult to help you in the kitchen. Don't turn on the stove without an adult around. Mommy and Daddy will help you. And don't forget to enjoy them. Yum, 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 And don't forget to share. Don't forget to have some milk with your cookies, too. Right, Elmo? Elmo and Miss Evelyn are going to share her Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. Right, Elmo? Because that's what friends are supposed to do. I'll see you next time on Storytime with Miss Evelyn. Don't forget to share your cookies. And don't forget to be a friend and not a bully. Don't forget to wash your hands, too. Have a good day. Bye-bye.